Once upon a time, there's a boy named Zebo, born and raised in South Detroit. South Detroit. One day, he met robot ninja Nazis who threatened his life at gunpoint. Laser gunpoint. To escape, he dodged their awesome lasers and kicked them in the labia. Robo labia. As part of the witness protection program, he was relocated to Australia. None of this actually happened. So without further ado, we proudly present to you, Z-Blog Down Under. This is a show that is all about me. Hi everyone, and welcome to Z-Blog Down Under, a show about what it's like to live in Australia in which I pollute the internet with these videos where I talk to the four or five people who actually watch this channel about what life's like for me. This week, a few things have happened. I had school, which is pretty cool. I'm at the University of Melbourne. Technically I'm doing physics, but I'm actually mostly doing math and anthropology. Don't ask why. My anthropology classes include anthropology of religion, which is really cool, and an anthropology class about feminism, which I've been trying to cook lately which is interesting. This happened. This next bit is just for you, Mum, because I think before I left there was a misconception that all I do is eat pancakes, but check this out. All on my own, I was able to make stuffed green peppers. I think I did a half decent job, although I'll have to taste them first. So there you go. I'm somewhat competent. I went down to the Victoria, uh, Queen Victoria Market today and I ended up buying a fish. Here it is, um, it's a New Zealand snapper and after buying it I came home and realized I have no idea how to cook a fish. So I think I got a little ambitious after cooking stuffed cream peppers last night, but we'll see how it goes. A oh, fishy, 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 oh! Where did that fishy go? And after much trial and tribulation, here's the finished result. Pretty good, eh? Woohoo! I'm somewhat competent again. Um, anyway, uh, I'm gonna eat it now, but I had a nibble, it tastes pretty good. Unfortunately, I don't have lemon, but hey, I'm trying. Also, there's no veggies, but tiny steps, I'm gonna get veggies soon. I just haven't bought any yet, because I've been focusing on the main things, like not veggies and chocolate. But I got the fish cooked in the end, so that's all that matters. I have a job interview tomorrow. I'm gonna go and I have an interview to be a physics and math teacher for small groups, not like real class sizes. Other than that, I've been exploring Melbourne a lot, which they call Melbin. They don't say Melbourne, it's weird. And lastly, I thought I'd start off small today, and instead of showing you around Melbourne, I start off by just showing you my house. So the following montage is about my house, where I live. This is my house in Australia. The address is 206 Drummond Street, which is kind of funny because there's actually a Drummond Street in Montreal. Um, most houses in Melbourne have this sort of balcony style. It's very popular. It's exclusive to Melbourne, so it's kind of weird, but it's pretty, pretty awesome. Apparently in the summer, everyone just chills on their balcony all day. Um, you can also see the trees have no leaves because it's winter now. Um, but I like my house, it's pretty cool. And this is Drummond Street. Let me go around the side. Here we come to the living room, which has a TV, but it doesn't work. A nice table, relatively clean right now. And the kitchen, which is where I cook food on this ghetto oven stove thing. The dishes need to be done, but they're not mine, so the other people should do their dishes. This is the fridge. It's really big. That's where I put my food, down there. Who needs butter when you've got canola spread? This is James, the grumpy landlord. <laughs> not grumpy. He hasn't realized that I'm paying him with Monopoly money yet because it looks the same as Australian money. Ah. And he's also from Tasmania, therefore he's an I inbred. I live in Canada, man, so I know you're Monopoly money. <laughs> That's true. This is my room. Here we have my drawer of clothes, which I need to kind of organize a little. Down here is my Pikachu slippers, all my stuff, sort of eclectically organized. This is my bed up here, I get top bunk. 
Um, these are other people who aren't here right now, hence why I'm making a movie. There's kind of an ugly picture of a coconut that'll probably change for a cool poster at some point. And this is the view, which isn't all that great, but that's the back alley back there. That's how I get out of the house when the cops are coming. Seats are my roommates, and this time, <laughs> Cece is prop. Are you kidding? Yes, Cece's from Toronto and Steph is from Mauritius, right? Hello. Um, no one else is here right now, so I'm gonna go film Don because you guys are boring. Bye guys. Girls are messy creatures. Hey Don. Can I come in? Oh, sorry. Hi Hugh. I'm making a video. Yeah, this is Hugh. He's from he's from Australia. But he's snoozing. Oh, I'm sorry, Hugh. Where's Zog on? She's disappeared. This is this is our street at night. It's really pretty, and you get a nice view of downtown over there. And if I fall over the balcony, I would die. Whee! I hope you guys enjoyed the tour, but unfortunately a lot of my roommates are missing in action. So you only got to see about half of them. But there's some other really cool ones, like the guy who sleeps in this bed is from Uruguay. Um, anyway, I'm gonna start wrapping it up now because it's getting kind of late and I got my job interview tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. There's nothing really to say. I'm real camera shy. So, bye friends and family. I really miss you guys, but I can't say I'm not having a blast. So I'll see you guys when I get back and check in week two because we are going to have some footage from Melbourne, Australia. Cheers. Do you like waffles? Yeah, we like waffles. Do you like pancakes? Yeah, we like pancakes. Do you like French toast? Yeah, we like French toast. Dip, 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 dip.